good? Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> What's up guys? Right now we're driving towards Vancouver. We're actually heading to Cyprus to do a little bit of downhill training. World Champs is coming up. I'm actually heading to Europe next week. So right now, I think my biggest focus with my riding, my training and everything is sort of building towards that last race or one of the last races of the year, which is gonna be World Championships. Um, so Cyprus is one of the best downhill zones around. I think right now it's sort of the best place to be training. It's rough, it's fast, it's everything you want in a downhill track. And then after that, we're planning on going for a trail ride and then hitting the spa. So we actually have a pretty full day ahead of us, but um, it's a beautiful day. We've got an early start and uh, looks like it's gonna be awesome. All right, so here we are. We're up at Cyprus. I'm standing at the top of the trail right now. Conditions are looking perfect. Actually, maybe a little bit dry, but that's just gonna make it more fun. Cyprus gets a little bit loose, a little bit marbly when it's dry, and that just gives me a little bit more things to work on. Um, it's been a little while since I've ridden my downhill bike on some real downhill trails. I think it's been about two or three weeks, but now we're sort of ramping up, heading into Europe, heading into World Championships, so I just gotta get a little bit more time on my downhill bike, and there's no better place than this. So uh, let's get into some runs and uh, yeah, have some fun. Alrighty, so here we go. Top of uh, Cyprus. This one is called Jersey Shore. <laughs> and it's sick. A bit flowy up here at the top. And then once you get down, yeah, it's super fast. Pretty rough. Oh, super good though. And this is such a good trail to work on skills because. It's really fast, but it's flowy. And then you can see here, you get these sections where you get these really good corners. They're marbly and loose, but really fast. So you have to be on your cornering game. You have to be, um, I don't know, just working on things. And then the plus side of all that is that these trails are really fun. So. You're getting better, having fun. And to be honest, this is the first time in a really long time that I've ridden this dry. Um, basically every time I come here, it's midwinter and all the trails here are just like, I'd say it rains, <laughs> I don't know, 90% of the days throughout the winter up here on Cyprus. So you, you get snow or rain here in the winter, and that's the only time I ride here, because normally I'm not around enough to make the trip up to Vancouver, and I'll end up just riding Whistler Bike Park. But this year, I've got so many opportunities to ride either Whistler or Cypress or Prevo or whatever, and it's really nice to get out here and see some different conditions, because it's so good, even in the dry which isn't something I'd really expect because it's like quite marbly and loose, but that just makes it better because it makes it more interesting, better for your skills, better for all sorts of things. So yeah, look at this section, so good. Good flat corner here, Ooh, a little bit slow, but, and then this bit's awesome. A little bit of flow down here at the bottom, flat corner, a little double, another corner, and yeah. So sick. That trail there is actually kind of fresh because before you couldn't make that switch between Mystery Downhill and uh, our Jersey Shore and Mystery Downhill, and now you can. So people have been doing work up here and the trails are just constantly getting better. And that sort of allows for all of the guys from Vancouver that are racing World Cups. Um, it's an easy, it's just an easy place to come. It's right outside of Vancouver and um, they can really make the most of it. So can I, holy, that's fun. All right, so now we're doing our last lap here. I took you guys down for a full lap about two or three ago, um, just cruising, getting used to the trail. And now I'm on my last lap, lap six, and this one's gonna be a little bit faster, a little bit more full on and um, I think it's gonna be a little bit more exciting for you guys. I'm not gonna be doing any talking because I gotta be focused, focused on sort of having a little bit more of a race pace, a better mindset for my run, and just being generally focused on what I'm doing on my bike. So we're gonna get into that now. And uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, here we go.
there we go. Made it to the bottom. Holy, that's fun. Um, that's my that's my six laps for the day. That's uh, what I came here to do. Normally I set a goal for laps. Um, normally I do six to eight. Um, if you do any more than that, you start to get tired and you actually start to lose your focus and then it doesn't, it doesn't go as well as you'd like. So you sort of feel out how you're feeling for the day and then uh, set your laps. So today I did six um, and then Tommy's gonna come down, pick me up to the part at the parking lot here. We're gonna go get some lunch, maybe go get some Chipotle and uh, then we'll see what's on for the rest of the day. Hey man. Hey man. <laughs> Sup dude. How was it? I was sick. I had, a, I had a moment, but other than that it was really good. So it was a really nice day all day and then we're like, oh, let's just wait and go for a trail ride. And we waited and now it's like four and it's cold and it's rainy and it's not favorable, but I don't know, we're still out here. We got the rigs, we're ready to run. I found my Allen key, you know? Can we finally get a cable reveal as to why your cables are so long? Oh yeah, oh, cable reveal. Yeah, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Um. Basically what happened was I had a bit of a mechanical on stage one of the last enduro um, of the Crankwork series and I had to switch my brake really fast. So basically what I did was like I put a back brake on my front brake and I've been too lazy to switch it in the last two weeks. Or I've had no time, I've been too busy. Uh, so I've just had no time to, to fix it. So we're just running it. Um, I'll probably get it fixed in the next year year yeah the next little while the next the foreseeable future i can see it getting fixed but yeah yeah drop a gear there it goes <laughs> creative genius made it to the top of microclimate weather is not optimal still um, raining a little bit harder now, but I'm not sure if it would have made it through the trees because it's pretty dense lower down. So we'll see what the trail conditions are like. Even if it is wet, super fun. It's just a little bit more scary. Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel like August. Look at that. It's like 10 degrees. Tough guy. There are all mosquitoes out here, eh? You ready, Thomas? Ready. Me too, man. I'll, uh... I'll see you in there. Yeah, I'll see you in there, man. Awesome. So cool. Awesome. So that was an awesome little ride we just did down microclimate. Um, the weather wasn't fantastic, but it's always really fun to just get out and go for a trail ride, um, especially after doing downhill laps. Normally, a day at home, like for me, would be a bit of downhill, a bit of trail riding, or it'd be gym and trail riding, or vice versa. Um, just try and fill my days up and um, if you guys want to actually go check out microclimate and what it looks like in the dry I posted a POV last week and I did a full run did a bit of commentary uh, super awesome trail actually one of my local favorites so right now we're gonna head to the Scandinav spa and we're just gonna do a bit of relaxing a bit of recovery um, I try and go once a week and especially right now it's important because I got to stay rested and healthy heading into Europe and that's the best place to do it in Whistler so we're gonna head there and uh, yeah super awesome day 
Super awesome, man. Eh? Awesome. Super awesome. I'm getting, awesome. A, I'm getting a phone call from my mom. Hey, mom. Oh, she hung up. 